everybody and happy Thanksgiving. Yes, today is Thanksgiving. So I decided, because our Thanksgiving includes the traditional Thanksgiving foods, but I'm also gonna cook um, Southern Soul Food, which is what I do every year. So I thought I would take some time to kind of share with you guys some of my recipes. And let's get started. Trevor, get away from the stairs. <laughs> Here we go. And um, he actually is a really good cook, and so he's gonna be helping out in the kitchen today. So um, to start, I have, I'm going to now start making my turkey. So I'm gonna document it because I really have no um, rhyme or reason why I do it. It's a mixture of watching Martha Stewart and throwing everything that I possibly can into the chicken that I, or the turkey that I think will taste good. So we'll see what happens. I'm not sure why I put them in bed besides the fact that I saw it on the Stewart. So let's try it. You can see it? I like to pick up um, some bulk rosemary, which makes it a little bit cheaper in the long run. You get a lot more for the money. And then sometimes I refill my um, spice jars. So let me get back to chopping. Okay, so what I like to do with my bird is start and I just put it on top of the turkey, just a little bit, just enough to cover it. Okay, let me wash my hands again. And yes, of course, you can wash the bird first before you start anything. Um, you can scrub it with a little water and vinegar, but then I rub it a little bit with some olive oil to help um, keep in some of the moisture as well as keep the spices stuck on. So now let's add some spices. Poultry seasoning. Do some of the Creole seasoning to add a little bit of kick to it. One of my favorite is smoked paprika. I'm gonna add a little lemon pepper. This is a 12 pound turkey, by the way. And then, last but not least, I add rosemary. And then we'll finish it off with some basic salt and pepper, of course. Okay, then this is my trick that I saw on Martha Stewart. Don't know why I'm doing it, but it adds some pretty prettiness to the bird. So, I'm gonna add some lemon slices. Everything, by the way. And this is very gross. So I make sure that I put chicken broth inside as well as the outside of the turkey. Not that it won't spill out, but it keeps it nice and moist all the way around. And what I do is, while this bakes for hours, I take a ladle and I constantly scoop it on top of the bird. I will show you I will show you how that's done later on, okay? So this is what it looks like before I put it in the oven. And on the package it says for three to four hours, but there is a little sensor in here that'll pop out when it's done. For me I just test it by slicing like the thickest piece of meat and making sure it's not pink inside. So here we go. And I put it all over the turkey to make sure that the juices cook really nicely on it. I don't want a dried out turkey. And to this date yet, it's been years, 
but my turkeys always come out really juicy. So, this is what I'll do probably now that it's been the first hour. I'll probably come back and do this every 30 minutes. Oop, something else is beeping. And it's been a couple hours and look how good this turkey looks. It's nice and brown. Nice color on it. I'm gonna keep scooping. I've done this probably, I don't know, every 45 minutes or so. I probably should have done it even a little bit more, but um, it doesn't look too bad. juicy it is. So let's lift this turkey's arm up. Look at this. Okay, let's look at this. I think it's done. And juicy. Thank you for watching this Thanksgiving Soul Food special and my cooking with Costilla Girl. And um, so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.